The drone of enemy aircraft continues to infest the skies over southern England. But by the summer of 1941, the British people have learned to live with Hitler's continual bombing raids, and a dash to the shelter has become just another part of their daily routine. At Warmington-on-Sea, the manager of Swallows Bank, Mr. Mannering, is in his office at the start of another day of commerce. Morning, Mr. Mannering. Ah, oh, good morning, Frank. Is that today's post? Yes, sir. Actually, there's only two letters, and they're both marked delayed by enemy action. Oh, dear. <laughs> by the way, where's Wilson? It's nearly quarter past nine. I don't know, Mr. <laughs> well, a Nazi paratrooper could have landed during the night, hidden himself, and then captured Uncle Arthur on his way to work. Stupid boy. <laughs> Swallows Bank? No, I'm not the manager. <laughs> Would you hold on a moment, please? Mr. Manrin? Mm. It's a long distance from London. Well, I know it is. Yes, right. Well, you can go, Pike. Thank you. <clears throat> Hello? Mannering here. Ah, good morning, Mannering. West here, head office. Oh, good morning, sir. Well, I won't waste time, Mannering. This call is expensive. I just wanted to tell you that I shan't be able to send you anyone to replace Mr. Wilson for several weeks. So you'll just have to manage as best you can. Replace? I'm sorry, sir. I, I don't think I understand. <laughs> I said I can't send you anyone to replace Wilson for several weeks. Why? Where's he going? <laughs> What are you talking about? Where's he going? You know as well as I do. He's taking over as manager at our Eastgate branch. Manager at Eastgate? That's right. He put in for the post months ago. Didn't he tell you? Well, uh, 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 I wrote to you fully about it in a letter weeks ago. Well, I didn't get it. Uh, it must have been one of the letters that was destroyed in an air raid. Anyhow, you'll just have to carry on as best you can. Don't forget there's a war on. I'll keep in touch. Goodbye. Bye. Good Lord, I don't believe this. Wilson, manager at Eastgate. Yes, what is it? Captain Bailey from GHQ is here to see you, sir. Very well, Pike. Show him in, please. Sir. wonder what he wants. Come in. Captain Bailey, sir. Thank you, Pike. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Mary. Please sit down. Oh, dear, thanks. I'm in a bit of a hurry. I just popped in to tell you that Sergeant Wilson's commission has come through. Commission? <laughs> yes, Captain Square wants him to take up his duties with the Eastgate platoon as soon as possible. The Eastgate platoon? Yes, I expect you'll miss him. All the same, you couldn't expect him to stay with the Warmington platoon when he's going to be living over at Eastgate. No. No, I suppose not. Well, I must be off. By the way, have you decided yet who you're going to promote in this place? No. Not yet. Oh, well, let me know as soon as you can. I must say, Sergeant Wilson deserves his promotion. He's a good chap. Congratulate him for me, won't you? Cheerio. <laughs> Goodbye. Wilson. Manager and an officer. The world's gone mad. <laughs> I'm sure I, I shall wake up in a minute, find us all been a very bad dream. Oh, now what? Come in. Excuse me, Captain Mannering, but while you were with Captain Bailey, the vicar called in. He left a message. Don't tell me Wilson's going to be made the Archbishop of Canterbury. <laughs> no, he didn't even say he was being considered. Well, that's a relief anyway. What did he want, then? Apparently there's been a mix-up in the bookings for the church hall tonight. Oh, in what way? Well, he's double booked. There's our parade and the Warmington Buffalo's annual beetle drive. <laughs> He'd like us to cancel this evening's parade, please. Oh, very well. I'm in no mood to grapple with the vicar. <laughs> as soon as you've got time, Pike, you'd better get on your bicycle and go around to all the members of the platoon, tell them that the parade is cancelled tonight. Yes, Mr. Manreen. Oh, I, and I've written out the platoon orders. As soon as Miss King has a moment, I want them typed and duplicated. Right, Mr. Manreen. Good morning, Mr. Smithers. Oh, good morning, Mr. Wilson. Ah, there he is. You, you can go, Pike. Very good, Mr. Manreen. Morning, Uncle Arthur. Good morning, Frank. <laughs> good morning, sir. A lovely day, isn't it? <laughs> what time do you call this, Wilson? Well, I make it uh, <clears throat> 20 to 10, sir. I think that's right. Where have you been? Well, actually, sir, I've been doing a bit of shopping. 
I went to Bloxham's, the military outfitter in Eastbourne, to buy myself a new hat. Just a minute, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll show you. There. How do you like it? It's for officers only, of course. Of course. Oh, and I, I bought some of these uh, pip things to go on my epaulets. Really? Yes. I, I don't know which I like best, the cloth ones or the brass ones. <laughs> Only I, I don't think you're supposed to wear brass ones with battle dress, are you? Hmm? Judas. <laughs> I beg your pardon, sir? Judas. I don't think I quite follow you, sir. You follow me all right, Wilson. You've been following me for years. <laughs> Just waiting to step into my shoes. But I'm not stepping into your shoes, sir. You must have put him for this job as a manager of Eastgate Branch for weeks ago. I'd... And all that time you said nothing. I thought you knew, sir. Rubbish. And what about this commission? Well, I I'm afraid uh, Captain Squares rather jumped the gun with that. But he was awfully keen to get me, you know. He, uh, he said he was very impressed with what I've done with the platoon. What you've done? <laughs> well, yes, he, uh, he, he's had his eye on me for some time, sir. Just because you, you've been to some Tuckney Hapley public school. Well, I wouldn't call Meadow Bridge that, sir. Meadow Bridge. You know where I went to school? Eastbourne Grammar. Yes, well, all right. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Oh, don't be so patronizing. I had to fight like hell to get there. And fight even harder to stay there. Well, <laughs> that's all to your credit. Sir. You realize that I've been manager here for ten years. I should have moved on to better things ages ago. But every time I went for an interview for promotion, it was always the same story. What school did you go to? <laughs> I'd tell them. And that did it. Well, I can't believe that that would influence them, no, sir. No, no, of course you can't. Not only have I made a success of this bank, but I've taken a bunch of shopkeepers, pulled them up by their ankle straps, and made them into a crack platoon. Yes, well, I did help a bit, sir. Watch this, Wilson. I'll show you just how highly I rate both your jobs, as chief clerk and sergeant of the platoon. Hello, operator. Give me 252, two, please. 252. Two. Do you know, Wilson? I sat at this desk this morning, and I could hardly believe the web of intrigue that was unfolding in front of my eyes. <laughs> ah, hello? You, uh, is that you, Jones? Look, I want you to come over here to the bank at once, will you? Yeah, be, uh, uh, yes, immediately. You're still listening, Wilson? Oh, yes, of course I am, sir, but I, I don't... Uh, I... You will. Rest assured, you will. Pike! Come in, sir. Yes, sir. Come in, Pike. Yes, Miss Manning. And close the door. Right. Pike, until they send someone down from head office to replace Wilson here, <laughs> you will take over the post of Chief Clark. What? <laughs> I said you will take over the post of Chief Clark. Yes, that's what I thought you said. Do you think I've got the brains for it, Mr. Manry? <laughs> of course you have, you stupid boy. <laughs> if Wilson here can do it, I'm jolly sure you can. But I don't talk posh like Uncle Arthur. I mean, <laughs> Mr. Wilson. One doesn't judge a book by its cover, Pike. Come in. Morning, Mr. Manry. Ah, June. Well, sir, I keep. Came over straight away, sir. Afraid I can't stay very long, sir. Being Monday, I just got the offal in. <laughs> yes, well, this won't take a minute. All right, Pike, go and get on with your work. Yes, sir. Now, listen to this, Wilson. Sir. Mm -hmm. Arms Corporal Jones, I'm promoting you to the rank of sergeant. Oh, Wilson. <laughs> what do you think of that? Do you think that's wise, sir? And that would be the last time, Wilson that you look down your nose at me and say in that supercilious voice, do you think that's wise, sir? <laughs> well, Jones, what do you say to that? Oh, I don't know what to say, Mr. Manning. Promotion to sergeant. I never dreamt it would come true. To think after all these years, I shall finally stand in front of those brave men with three stripes on all my arms. <laughs> Not just one stripe or two stripes, but three. Three. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. It's just, it's so wonderful. <laughs> well, there you are, Wilson. That's the sort of man that I'm promoting to sergeant. <laughs> Brave, true, and loyal to the last. 
There's just one thing, Mr. Manning. What about Mr. Wilson? You can't have two sergeants. Oh, Mr. Wilson is leaving us for higher things, Jones. He's been promoted to the rank of second lieutenant. We'll shortly be joining the Eastgate platoon. Oh, dear, well, I shall miss you, Mr. Wilson, but I'm sure no one deserves promotion more than you, and I want you to know that I shall try to live up to the high ideals and the standards of loyalty that you have put up us. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. All right, that's all right, Jones. Right, sir. There's just one thing, Mr. Manning. Yes, what's that? Well, sir, would it be possible to let me have notification of my appointment in official form, sir? I want to have something to show people in the years to come. Certainly, Jones. I'll draft something out here and now. I'll see. This is to confirm that you have been appointed to the rank of Sergeant of the 1st Platoon of Warmington on Sea Home Guard. There. How does that sound, Jones? Of course. It's just what I wanted, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, I'll put this here in my out tray, and then it can be typed out. And when that's been done, I'll write your name at the top in my own hand. That will make it more personal. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, I'd better get back to the shop now, sir. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, Sergeant Jones. Sergeant Jones. Oh, wait till Mrs. Fox hears about this. <laughs> well, sir, if you've, uh, if you've quite finished with me, sir, I'll, uh, I'll go and get on with my work. Yes, yes, that would be wise. I'd like everything neat and tidy for the new chief clerk. Right, sir. What a confounded cheek. Come in. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Mannering, but there's a customer out here who's been a bit awkward. Could you come at once, please? Yeah. All right. Oh, um, Pike. Sir? Don't forget those platoon orders. They're in my out tray. Get them typed and duplicated, and then get on your bicycle and take a copy around to each member of the platoon. All right, Mr. Mannering. And tell them tonight's parade is cancelled. Don't forget... But warn the men, they'd better not be late tomorrow night. Very good, sir. Now then, um, let's see. Where, where did he say those platoon orders are? Oh, here they are. Oh. This is to confirm that you have been appointed to the rank of sergeant. Well, that's funny. <laughs> well, I know he's made me chief clerk. <laughs> But I wonder why Mr. Mannering's promoted everyone to sergeant except me. <laughs> Steady now. Two, ten, cut. Now look to your front, I'm free. Chest out, stomach in. For two, down. <laughs> Up. Very smart. Evening, Mr. Jones. <laughs> oh, I wish you wouldn't creep up on me like that. Why are you talking to yourself? I was not talking to myself. Well, I don't know what else you'd call it. There's no one else here. Anyway, his reverence is worried because there's a damp patch behind his spare harmonium and he wants it shifted. I can't do it by myself. It's in the bell tower. Well, I don't know. I've got a lot of responsibility ahead of me this evening, you know. Can't afford to time myself out before I start. Good evening, Virgil. Evening, Captain Mannering. Oh, yes, Jones. Those stripes look very smart. Thank you, sir. Got Mrs. Fox to sew them on for me, sir. There's nothing in it, you understand, sir. It's just that she's better with a needle than I am, sir. Yes, I quite understand, sir. Now, look, I want you to have a look at this manual. It's about the responsibilities of a senior NCO. Very good, sir. If you want me, I shall be in my office. Look, Mr. Jones, are you going to help me with that harmonium or not? No, I'm sorry, Mr. Yakeman. I, I certainly can't help you. Now, I'm going to the storeroom where it's nice and quiet and study my responses. Oh, very really well. <laughs> I suppose I'd better try and shift it by myself. Ah. Good. I'm first here. Huh. Well, now, I think I'll just have a wee practice to see what it feels like to be a sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> Ten shall! Now, oh, you sloppy lot, listen to me. There are going to be a few changes around here, you understand? I'm in charge now. <laughs> hey, Jones, I'll no worry you again. Unless your drill improves, I'll take that one stripe away. No, one last thing, all of you. Remember, 
The my name is Sergeant Fraser, and you spell Fraser B A S T A R D. Well, that's not really how you spell it, is it? <laughs> oh, it's uh, it's you, Verger. Man, you you took me by surprise, creeping up on me like that. Why is everybody so touchy tonight? You're the second person who said that. Anyway, I'm looking for someone to help shift the vicar's spare harmonium. What about you? Oh, I don't know if I should. You see, I'm a, I'm a sergeant. Now. Oh, I don't know anything about that. I've tried to move it by myself, but it moves two of us. Oh, all right, then I'll come and have a look. Where is it, man? It's in the bell tower. Follow me. Mind the steps there a bit now, will you? Oh, dear. I must be the first one to arrive. So I suppose now I'm a sergeant. I ought to set an example. Hello, Mr. Godfrey. Oh, I suppose I should say Sergeant Godfrey now. Uh, yeah, yes, I suppose so. Don't sound very happy about it. Don't you want to be a sergeant? Well, I really can't understand why Mr. Manning has made me a sergeant. I, I don't think I'm capable. It's not my nature to shout. Still, I'll do my best. I'm sure you will, Mr. Godfrey. I wonder where everyone is. It's nearly time for the parade, isn't it? Oh, somebody coming now. Oh, Private Pike. Tell me, man. Are you musical? I don't know. I suppose so. Good. The Verger wants a... Hey, hey. Just a minute, Private Godfrey. Why? Why have you got those stripes on your arms? Oh, Mr. Manners may be a sergeant. I, I don't know why. It's in the staff. You can't have two sergeants. Evening, men. Three sergeants. <laughs> Private Fraser. What are you doing dressed up like a sergeant? I'm not dressed up like a sergeant. I'm a sergeant. And so apparently is Godfrey here. I'm sure there must be some mistake. Of course there is. You can't have three. Hello there. Uh, Four. Uh, good evening, everyone. Five. Six. Oh, oh. Blimey, we're all we're sergeants. All. <laughs> you better get fell in, you lot. I'll go and see Mr. Manrin. Come in. Permission to interrupt, sir. Yes, Jones, what is it? Well, sir, I've fallen the private in. What shall I do with the 17 sergeants? <laughs> pounds, 12 and 6, 15 shillings, 17 and 6, 5 pounds. In the bank. Ah. Morning, Frank. Oh, morning, Uncle Arthur. Oh, I like your officer's uniform. It's very smart, isn't it? Yes, it is rather nice, isn't it? Uh, do you think the, uh, think the peak's hat suits me? Oh, yeah. Uh. Yes, it's made a big difference. You look quite handsome. <laughs> Has Mr. Manring seen your new uniform yet? No, I'm going in to see him now. I'll, uh, I'll come say goodbye before I go. It's all right, Uncle Arthur. Don't miss your train, will you? Oh. Come in! Ah. <coughs> Mr. Manring, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm going now. Going where? Well, to Eastgate, sir. I'm, uh, I'm catching the 11.15 train. Why are you going this morning? It's only Wednesday. You don't take over as manager until next Monday. Yes, well, things are a bit difficult over there, you know, so the, the manager's already been called up, so... So Mr. West at head office rang me up and asked me whether I'd mind taking over straight away. Mr. West from head office? Yes. Mm. We are honoured. Why are you travelling in your uniform? Why, well, I don't know, sir. It was, <laughs> it was just sort of handy. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> You've put it on so that you can parade up and down the platform looking for salutes. <laughs> well, why not? You did. Yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> First day you got your uniform, I followed you. You followed me? Yes, I did. You went up and down the high street three times looking for a serviceman to salute you. In the end, you had to make do with a sea scout. That's enough. <laughs> say what you have to say and go. Well, I only came in to say goodbye, sir. Right. Goodbye. Well, I... I thought you might care to come down to the station and see me off. Well, I don't care to. Our relationship ends here and now in this office. Oh, really, sir? After all we've been through together, can't you 
Can't you let bygones be bygones? Don't try and soft soap me. Oh, all right, if that's the way you feel, sir. Goodbye. How dare he accuse me of soliciting salutes? <laughs> anyway, you got it all wrong. It wasn't a sea scout. St. John's Ambulance Brigade. <laughs> Hello, Swallows Bank, Eastgate Branch. Mr. Boyle, Chief Clerk speaking. Mr. Wilson? Yes, of course. One moment, please. Come in. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Wilson. Mr. West from head office is on the phone. Oh, thank you, Mr. Boyle. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, and when I finish this call, I'd like to see yourself and the rest of the staff just for a few moments. Certainly, Mr. Wilson. Uh -huh. Good morning, sir. It's, uh, it's Wilson here. Ah, oh, good morning, Wilson. I thought I'd just give you a ring to wish you luck in your new position. Everything all right? Well, I've, <laughs> I've only been manager for, let's see, um, uh, <laughs> 18 minutes, but everything's fine so far, sir. And I'm sure with you at the helm, it's going to stay that way. You know, we had thought of promoting you to manager several times over the last few years. Oh, I didn't realize that, sir. Oh, yes. If it hadn't been for Mannering, you'd have had your own branch ages ago. Oh. Well, what did he say? Oh, uh, he only said that, in his opinion, you didn't show enough initiative. Oh, did he? Still, I'm sure you're going to prove him wrong. Anyway, the best of luck, Wilson. And if you've got any problems, don't hesitate to get in touch. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir, and thank you. How awfully nice of him. Come in. I have the staff here as you requested, Mr. Wilson. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, come in, all of you, please. Oh, come you, in. Thanks. Look, I, I don't uh, want to take much of your time up, but uh, ladies and gentlemen, before we start to work this morning, I, I thought we'd have a little chat and get to know each other. First of all, I, I, I want you to understand that I, I like to work in a nice, sort of relaxed atmosphere. Oh, thank you, sir. Yes. Yeah. If you have any problems, I don't want you to worry about them. Just come along to my office. And when you see my name, A. Wilson, manager, <laughs> on the door, I wanted to give you a feeling of comfort and security. Just tap on the door and come in. All right? Yes, sir. Oh, 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 just, just one little thing I'd like to say to you. I... There go the sirens, Mr. Wilson. We'd better go down to the shelter. That's all right. Oh, very well, then. Come on, everybody. Come on. But don't, don't, don't rush. Don't rush. Mr. Boyle... Bring those papers with you, will you? We can go through them in the shelter. Hi. Come in, sir. I've, uh... I found another mistake in Mr. Baxter's account. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Mannering. I'm afraid I'm not doing very well as Chief Clerk. Oh, it's not your fault. You haven't got the experience, Pike. I'm sure you're doing the best you can. I wish Uncle Arthur was still with us. Hmm. I never realised how important he was. No one is indispensable, Pike. I don't wish to discuss it anymore. Answer that now. Yes, Mr. Mannering. Hello. <laughs> Swallows Bank, Warmington on Sea. Mr. Pike, acting chief clerk, speaking. <laughs> oh, just one moment, please. Mr. Mannering, it's Mr. West from head office. Right, thank you, Pike. G uh, good morning, sir. Mannering here. Ah, Mannering. Has Wilson arrived yet? No, sir, no. In fact, I'm not expecting him. Surely he's over at Eastgate. You mean you haven't heard? Heard what, sir? Well, they had an air raid at Eastgate yesterday and the bank was hit. Good Lord. Anybody hurt? Uh, no, the staff were all down in the shelter, but the bank itself is completely gutted. What, uh, what's going to happen now? Well, we're closing the Eastgate branch for the duration and transferring all the business to you. And, of course, uh, Wilson will be rejoining your staff. I see. <laughs> no, that must have been the shortest appointment in history. <laughs> What do you mean, Mannering? Well, nine o'clock yesterday morning, Wilson became the manager of a bank. A few hours later, there wasn't any bank for him to be manager of. <laughs> yes, yes, it is most unfortunate. Anyway, don't be too hard on him. Well, goodbye, Mannering. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, sir. <laughs>
Well, Pike, as you probably gathered, Wilson will be rejoining this branch. In fact, he should be back this morning. Oh, good. Well, what's happened then? The Eastgate branch was bombed yesterday. Is Uncle Arthur all right? Oh, yes, yes, don't worry. The devil looks after his own. <laughs> well, it will be nice to have him back. Come in. Oh, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's me, sir. I've, uh, <laughs> I've returned. Ah, morning, Wilson. You can go, Pike. Yes, Mr. Mamrin. Nice to see you back, Uncle Arthur. Thank you, Frank. I bet Mum will be pleased. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Wilson. I was expecting you. Oh, thank you, sir. I had your friend, Mr. West, from head office on the phone just now, telling me about the Eastgate branch being bombed. They seem very sorry that you should have been robbed of your own branch so soon. Oh, that's nice. And for my part, uh, may I say how sorry I am, too? Well, thank you, sir. I, I do appreciate that. Naturally, under the circumstances, you can have your old job back here. Well, thank you very much, sir. And, of course, you'll be able to resume your home guard activities with us. Well, I shall look forward to that, sir. Mm. Yeah, uh, there is just one thing. Yes, sir? You won't be needing your new hat, of course. <laughs> no, sir, perhaps you'd like to have it. Oh, no, no, I'm afraid it's much too big for me. <laughs> and uh, we're all right for sergeants, too, at the moment. In fact, we've got 17 of them. <laughs> Seventeen sergeants? How on earth did that happen? Oh, slight administrative error. <laughs> anyway, this means that Pike is our only private. So, as you can see, we're rather understablished as far as uh, privates go. But how would you like to be one of them? <laughs> well, I, I, I don't... Uh, <clears throat> of course, if you, if you keep your nose clean, there's a reasonable chance that promotion will come your way. It's really a question of time. Yeah, well, yes, but uh, how long do you think it might take? Hmm? It's difficult to tell, really. But I should think... Ooh, two or three days, at least. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see, sir. Just, uh, just your little joke, sir. <laughs> it's nice to have you back, Wilson. Yeah. Well, yes, it's, it's nice to be back, sir. <laughs> 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 